What's going on, Mount Zion youth and youth all over the world? Listen, we are so excited to have you as we dive into the fruits of the Spirit. And we have an awesome fruit of the Spirit today, and that is gentleness, okay? Gentleness. Um, let's go to Galatians 5. Let's do a recap and let's read the fruit that we went over already. Galatians 5, okay, verse 22. And now we're going to jump into 23. Here we go. It says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, goodness. All right. Faithfulness. And verse 23, gentleness. Now, listen, this word gentleness is another word for meekness. OK, so what is meekness? What is gentleness like? Like. What is this? And let me give you an example. An analogy is like, let's say you got an animal out of control, vicious, just like it'll just like bite you and just come at you. You know what I'm saying? And what meekness and gentleness is, it means power under control. So you got this wild animal. OK, he'll come at people. But let's say a person gently touch the animal on the shoulder. OK. And then the animal became tame. It was like, hmm, okay, and calm. Now, the animal still has power, okay? It still has the ability to do some stuff. But guess what? It's showing gentleness and meekness. It's now tame. And that's what God does to us, right? Um, God, okay, causes us to be meek or to be gentle, power under control or power under restraint. And what that means is, is that we're surrendered to God. Okay. And that's the common thread through all these fruits of the spirit, right? The fruit of the spirit is that you're obeying God and you're surrendered to God, right? You're under God's control and restraint. You're not everywhere all over the place. Okay. You are meek. And Jesus was one of the meekest people on the earth. I give you one example, one story. Um, I don't know exactly where it is, but it's somewhere in the gospels where I think it was Peter. Peter was like, yo, Jesus, these dudes, they talking about us. They messing with us. Like, should we just like rain fire from heaven on them and destroy them? Now, Jesus being who he is, he could have been like, Lord, rain fire, boom, fire would have came from heaven, destroyed them. But Jesus said, nah, -uh, no, chill relax, right? When Jesus was on a cross, he could have got legions of angels to come deliver him. As like the one dude next to him was like, yo, since you're the, the Christ, the son of the living God, like get, get us down. We all can escape. And guess what? Jesus was like, no. He had power, right? But he restrained that power and, and only used that power when it was in God's will. Okay. And guess what? The Holy Spirit has given us power. The Holy Spirit has given us influence. The Holy Spirit has given us creativity and ideas. And God is saying, I want that right under control, under my power, that you may use it for my will and my glory. And that's what gentleness is. And gentleness also, of course, it goes back to the last video we talked about and being nice, right? Being nice, being gentle hearted, being kind, right? All those words are kind of mixed in together, okay, to make sure that we're nice and loving and caring towards one another, all right? And that's what the Holy Spirit produces, okay? The fruit of the Spirit is the outward showing, okay, of what has taken place on the inside. So because God's Holy Spirit is within me, I produce love and joy and peace and goodness and kindness and gentleness, okay, and, and faithfulness and all these things because of God's Spirit is within me, okay? So the application is go out and be nice to people, okay? And, right, be surrendered and submitted to God and use everything God has given you for his will and his will alone, okay? Like, even though, like, you might you might have some atheist friends and stuff and you might be able to, you know, make them feel bad for their belief or you might make people have the ability to make them feel sad about something. Well, guess what? Meekness is... Even though I can, I'm not because that's not in God's will for my life. 
All right, that's 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 good. That's a key right there. Even though I can do it, I'm not. Even yeah, I probably can beat you up and let's fight. But guess what? I'm not fighting. Why? I'm under control. You know. So, so does that make sense? Like that's what that gentleness means. Even though I can, I'm not because I have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. All right. Love you guys. Please like, please share, please comment. Thanks for watching, as always. All right. Um, see you in the next video.